6.43, and this morning, Chuck's Big Adventure <laughs> is going medieval. Yeah, Chuck, I saw some of your fixtures while you're shooting this story, you in the uh, 12th century attire. I yeah. can't wait to hear more about this castle. Well, Carlos, if you're looking for one of the most unique bed and breakfasts in the nation, look no further than Bowling Green, Kentucky. And what makes it even better is meeting the royal family behind this medieval marvel. Follow the signs through a winding maze of back roads, through the gates, up the drive, and you'll discover Glacier Castle. Hello. Oh, welcome to Glacier Castle, Lord Thank Charles. You. You're Thank welcome. You. It's a pleasure seeing you. Feeling a little underdressed? No need to worry. They've got you covered. Oh, you are dressed kind of funny. I mean, you're in a castle. I'm dressed appropriately. You're dressed a little odd. Uh, what do you say we try on a few outfits that we have? And I'm ready. Lord Douglas, let's get medieval. Now that I'm properly dressed, it was time to check out the themed guest rooms. There's a woodsy type of theme or enchanted forest. To the fairy tale room. And that would be Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Even a wine cellar, complete with a tub. What was it? that brought an engineer and a pediatrician back into the 11th or 12th century. We decided we like bed and breakfasts, but we don't like the traditional bed and breakfast. We didn't want to just stop what we were doing and sit around and do nothing. We couldn't do that. That's just not in our blood. There you go. <laughs> uh, we like to be out in the country. This is a great view, Lord Douglas. So we said, well, why don't we build a castle? We tell our guests we had to get 120 acres because to outdo Winnie the Pooh's 100 acre woods. <laughs> Most people thought we were crazy. We have a bridge over there with a troll living under it. To go to my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> and it's truly a family affair. Daughter Katie, heiress of Glacier Castle, actually started drawing up the design plans years ago. I was probably in high school when I started wow. drawing, drawing ideas for what we would do. And how it's really taken off has, has been just, it's a delight to see. Look carefully. Perched above the Great Hall, the castle's inspiration. Uh, our first commitment was up there, Sir William. He's our uh, suit of armor. But when we purchased him, it was our commitment that we would go ahead and do the castle. What a time. That included a lesson in protecting a fair damsel. Tip at eye level and this hand up to block the blows. Early on, ye old breakfast oh, wow. is served. My lord. A royal morning feast. It's a breakfast fit for a king. Thinking of sleeping in? No change. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Breakfast is served! This is more than a romantic getaway. With a proper hello, Glacier Castle is a kiss for all ages. And you do a curtsy. We built the castle, and we have loved every minute of it. Glacier Castle in Bowling Green, Indiana, not Kentucky, Indiana. And as you might expect, Glacier Castle is also a very popular place to get married. I loved everything about our visit and can't wait to go back and enjoy it with my wife. Now, if you want to learn more, I have a link in my blog. Tomorrow, we're taking you to a hidden dining experience where there's more than meets the eye. And the show is going to the animals, from kangaroos to giraffes, otters and emus. We're going on safari at Wilston Wildlife Park. It's a bucket list destination for the whole family. So make sure you join us on sunrise tomorrow morning. By the way, those were uh, three week old triplet otter boys. Oh my, oh my gosh. They I were wild. <laughs> I need to know how early that uh, breakfast wake up call is. Uh, it's usually around 8.30. For us, okay. it was earlier. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you want it earlier, Julia, yeah. they can make it. That, would, <laughs> no, no, no. that wouldn't be my That's request, a, a little earlier. She but... said she needs a bed and brunch. Right. <laughs> yeah, a bed and breakfast. <laughs>